Yes. But for these two men we're about to show you, Father's Day is also a celebration of everything they've done for each other. NBC 10's Sam Reed shows us something good. For 52-year-old Sean Gagan of Providence, Monday through Friday, he's in the classroom teaching math. What do I get? to dozens of kids at the Paul Cuffey School. The job's different every day. The father of two considers these kids his own. Go ahead, Cynthia, tell me what happens if I cross multiply. And he's been at it for 24 years. I hear back from old students. They'll tell you me sometimes like, oh, you know, you, you made an impact on me. And that's like a really gratifying thing to hear. For as long as he can remember, Sean has always been a problem solver. Okay. And that's where Derek Robinson comes into the equation. Whenever I tell someone this story, they, they immediately are just like, oh, there are good people or there are good things happening in the world. Derek works as a physician's assistant, and he has been for the last 18 years. And while he helps people with their health now, in the early 2000s, he learned his wasn't the best. While in his 20s, he was diagnosed with kidney disease, which eventually led to kidney failure. I just didn't think I was going to get a donor, so I said, you know, I'm just going to do dialysis, so I had an AV fistula put in my arm. Derek fell very ill, but daily he would drop off his daughter at school. Sean and Derek's daughters were friends, and though they really weren't, they would occasionally carpool in Providence. I didn't go to a lot of school events, um, and people found out that I was sick, and the word got to Sean. I never thought twice about it. I really didn't. A phone conversation amongst the men was actually unbelievable for Derek. I just didn't believe that someone who wasn't a blood relative or a close friend would even consider donating to someone. And it was like a really heavy conversation because I think uh, accepting generosity sometimes can be a very difficult thing to do. It was, but then another call from the transplant team at Rhode Island Hospital solidified the surgery. None of Derek's family and friends were a match, but this man was a perfect one. What he told me that made me feel okay with that is that he said, you know, a lot of people are going to ask me, why would I do something like this? And his response is, I would hope someone would do this for me. And this is why I'm doing it for you. In 2014, they went into surgery and Derek came out with a new kidney. I think in a lot of ways, it's like one of those moments in life where like, you don't really know what you're getting into. You just, you just say yes and you go forward with it and you hope that everything's going to turn out the way it should. Fortunately for them, it has. What's up, big man? Hey, Ben. Which is why once a month, almost every month since the surgery, they meet at Tees in Cranston for breakfast. We've been through something that not a lot of people have been through together. Hi, guys. There have been dozens of delicious meals shared over a cup of coffee and ketchup conversations. But it really has changed into like a really profound friendship. For these dads, this Father's Day marks a big anniversary. I can't believe it's been 10 years. The pair plan to celebrate all they've overcome and the beautiful bond that's been built as a result. He is my brother. I mean, he donated a life-saving organ to me. And on the day that honors men who mean the world to their kids, Derek is happy and healthy and around to celebrate both things, all thanks to Sean's selfless gift that's kept on giving. It was great, thank you. Someday, it, inevitably, it'll probably start to fail, and that'll be really sad. You know, and then hopefully there'll be good options available. I really hope it lasts forever, though. Showing you something good. I'm Sam Reed. Wow, just incredible. You know, like every time we hear a story about someone donating a kidney, it's so moving. But then to see the beautiful friendship that's blossomed between the two of them, what an amazing story. Yeah, and you know, if, if you're as an adult, you know, it's really difficult to meet somebody sometimes mm -hmm. who becomes a really good friend, yeah. right? Uh, and the fact that they have that in connection. And I love how they get together every month because it's hard to get together every month, yeah. but when you have good friends, you really have to make the effort. And obviously there's a big connection there. So, wow, that's a great story. Thank awesome. you for sharing with us, guys. And Sam. All right, coming up next at 6 o'clock, the I-Team.